Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. So just recently, I had a, a night where I just did not sleep well. I, I, I woke up literally at like three o'clock in the morning. Now, I am classically somebody who when my head hits the pillow, I go to sleep, and I wake up, and I normally don't want to wake up when my alarm goes off, but I get up because I know that God has a something for me that day. And so I get myself out of bed, but I never have been like a problem sleeping kind of person. But what's funny is, is when I woke up um, right away, I wasn't grumpy. I was just totally awake. And it was amazing. My bride Lynn uh, woke up, you know, she was already up. So uh, I don't know how that all worked, but in the end of the day, she said, she's like, I bet God wants to, wants to speak to us about something. And I, I love that perspective because it reminded me about how in the Psalms, David talks about how he was seeking the Lord in the night watches. And I love that perspective that like, if you're not somebody who, who has a problem sleeping and if you wake up, maybe God wants to speak to you. And it was great because my bride and I both went into our, our prayer closets, quote unquote, the place where we have our, our time with the Lord and we sought the Lord. And sometimes God is opening up opportunities for us, but it'd be very easy for us just to see them as issues. I mean, I don't like not sleeping and I wanted to be sleeping, but what I realized was that this was an opportunity from God to seek his face at a time when our house was totally quiet because all of our kids were sleeping. But so often we don't see those issues or inconveniences as opportunities. And if we can grab hold of that, now all of a sudden we're like, oh, this is a, could be a rich time for the Lord to minister to us, that we can sit in God's presence, we can read his word and pray, and we have even extra time. We can waste time on the Lord, and that's a great, great thing. So listen, don't see your inconveniences and issues as just inconveniences and issues. See them as opportunities. Have that heavenly perspective like my bride Lynn had to be able to say, hey, I bet God wants to do something right now. So let me do, I want you to share this video because everyone's going to have inconveniences and issues that are going to go on, but they see them as opportunities to have that heavenly perspective what God can do and in the comment section I want you to share a testimony of an inconvenience or an issue that God leveraged and turned into an opportunity for him to speak and to minister to you so we can rejoice at how God is working and God bless you today